Hello guys, in this tutorial we will tell you how to add hyperlocal page into your app. The hyperlocal feature allows you and your users to create profile for their professions like plumbing, grooming, welding and others. With hourly charges and get work as per their area of expertise. Now let's get started. Now let's add the page. Click on view all here and search hyperlocal. Click on the page to add it. Here's your hyperlocal page name. If you want, you can change it. From here, you can change the page icon. If you want, you can select a solid outline icon or image from our library or upload your own custom icon image from this section. Now let's move to the content section. Let's add listing to your hyperlocal page. Click on add listing. The add new category pop-up window will open. Enter the category name here. Now select the type of sorting for your listings from the available options that is distance, alphabetically, or custom. From here you can change the category status to active or inactive. If you want you can add thumbnail to your listings from here. Once done click on create category. You will see the category has been created on your hyperlocal dashboard. Now click on the created category. Here you can add job listings. Click on add job. The Add Job pop-up window will open. Enter the job title here. Next comes Budget. From here you can change its icon. If you want you can select an icon from our library or upload your own custom icon. Now enter Budget in this field. Next up Inquiry. Inquiry. From here you can change its icon. If you want you can select an icon from our library or upload your own custom icon. Now select your desired inquiry form here. Tick, tick mark this checkbox if you want to activate availability schedule. As soon as you tick mark it, a menu will open. Select your desired timing from default timing or individual timing. From here you can change the default timing icon. You can either select an icon from our library or upload your own custom icon. If you select individual timing, you need to select timing for each week, day individually. From here you can change the icon image. If you want you can select an icon from a library or upload your own custom icon. Now select the timings as per your needs. If you want you can apply the same timings to all the weekdays. Click on add icon to add multiple timings. From here you can delete the timings. By default we have showing off for Saturday and Sunday. If you want you can turn it on and add the timings. Tick mark this checkbox if you want to add default slot duration for each day. Once you tick mark it, the timings menu will open. Select your desired timings. If you want to edit availability for a specific date, tick mark this checkbox. The calendar will open. Select the specific date and choose your desired timings. Enter job summary here. If you want to add image and video with the job listing, click on add gallery. The gallery pop up window will open. Click on add images to add an image. From here you can add video to your listings through your YouTube URL. This is the email field. You can change its name as per your needs. From here you can change the email field icon. If you want you can select an icon from my library or upload your own custom icon. Now enter the email address here. Click on the plus icon to add multiple email addresses. From here you can delete the email address. Next comes URL field. Here you can add your website. If you want you can change its name as per your needs. From here you can change the URL field icon. If you want you can select an icon from our library or upload your own custom icon. Now enter your website URL here. Click on plus icon to add multiple websites. From here you can delete the website URL. Tick mark this checkbox if you want to disable URLs. Next comes phone field. Here you can add your phone number. If you want you can change its name as per your needs. From here you can change the phone number field icon. If you want you can select an icon from our library or upload your own custom icon. Now enter your phone number here. Click on plus icon to add multiple phone numbers. From here you can delete the phone number. This Tick mark this checkbox if you want to disable column. Next comes other fields. Here you can provide your other information. If you want you can change its name as per your needs. 
From here you can change the others fields icon. If you want you can select an icon from our library or upload your own custom icon. Now enter the information here. Click on the plus icon to add multiple details. From here you can delete the additional field. Last but not least, address field. Here you can provide your address. If you want you can change its name as per your needs. From here you can change the address field icon. If you want you can select an icon from our library or upload your own custom icon. Now enter the address here. Click on, click on view map to view your address on the Google Maps. Tick mark this check mark if you want to launch the address in device native maps application. Once done, click on save to continue. You will see the job listing has been created on your dashboard. From here you can change the page. You can search the jobs and no pages from here. Now go to manage bookings. Here you can check all of your bookings. Here you can search the bookings based on booking ID, job title, or client email. You can even search the bookings based on the date from here. If you want, you can also search the bookings based on their status. You can even search the bookings based on their payment status. If that's not enough, you can even search the bookings based on their action. From here you can reset the search fields. Let's check out general settings now. In configuration settings, you will see you will e admin email. Google API key and different other settings. Enter the appropriate email address in the admin email field. Rest of the settings you can change as per your needs. You can even set a default image, distance, and range of search for your hyperlocal page from here. You can even add the number of days for advanced booking here. Next comes SMS section. Here you need to provide account SID authorization token from number, SMS to be sent on, and SMS text message. You can follow our how to add Twilio SMS service into your app. Tutorial to obtain account, SID, authorization token, and from number. If you want, you can change the SMS to be sent on content from here. From here, you can change the SMS text message content. Now select the appropriate users to whom you want to send SMS to. Once done, click on Save SMS Configuration. Next comes language settings. Here you will see all the alert messages being displayed on your hyperlocal page. If you want, you can change them from here. Next comes default schedule. From here you can manage your default schedule. If you want, you can change the timings of any day as per your needs. If you want to keep the same timings for every weekday, click on apply to all. Click on plus icon to add multiple timings for any day. From here you can delete the timings. By default we have showing off for Saturday and Sunday. If you want you can turn it on and add the timings. Next comes default slot duration. Select your desired timings here. Tick mark this checkbox to add it every ability for specific date. The calendar will open. Select the specific date and choose your desired timings. Once done, click on save to continue. Next comes payment settings. Tick mark this checkbox if you want to enable pay a counter payment method. If you want, you can add multiple other payment methods from here such as PayPal Express, PayPal Payments, Pro, credit card over the phone, and credit card via Stripe Payment Gateway. Once done, click on save to continue. Next comes import export jobs. If you want, you can upload jobs in the CSV file format from here. From here you can export jobs in the CSV or XLS file format. Let's check out advanced settings now. Here you will see the different settings. Allow keyword search, enable location based search, enable users to add job listing and show slide menu. You can enable or disable them as per your needs. Now let's move to payment settings. By default payment method is set for free. If you want to enable it in an in-app purchase, select this icon. For enabling in-app purchase, you need to provide Android and iOS payment credentials. In Android payment credentials, you need to provide monthly subscription package ID, yearly subscription package ID, one-time payment product ID, and public key. You can follow our how to activate in-app purchase tutorial to obtain monthly subscription package ID, yearly subscription package ID, one-time payment product ID, and public key. In iOS payment credentials, you need to provide monthly subscription package ID, yearly subscription package ID, and one-time payment product ID. You can follow our, 
a tutorial how to activate an app purchase from iTunes Store. Tutorial to obtain monthly subscription package ID, yearly subscription package ID, and one-time payment product ID. Next comes monthly subscription, yearly subscription, and one-time payment. Here you need to provide the pricing and select the currency unit in which you want your users to make the payment. Now let's move to page style and color scheme. From here you can change the page layout the way you want. Here are some advanced settings for page layout which you can change as per your requirements. Next comes advanced elements customization. From here you can change the page elements, color, font style and font size. Tick mark this checkbox if you want to hide borders. Tick mark this checkbox to enable back navigation button on header. Once you are done, click on save and continue to finish creating your app. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.